Hey guys, what's going on? It's Cody back with yet another episode of TLC Trash Fire. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So, we're going to be covering Season 4, Episode 3 of 90 Day Fiance Love in Paradise. And specifically, we're getting back into Luke and his child bride, a.k.a. Madeline, who's only 19 years old. She lives in Colombia. Luke recently decided to make a trip to see her and discuss his recent financial issues, which is essentially... He got canned from his job as a mining engineer or something along those lines. The guy was making quite a bit of money, but it seems like he's broke. And uh, he had a great time telling us, the audience, about all the various ways in which he's pissed, pissed away his money, including a bunch of failed investments and, of course, setting up Madeline in some, I'm sure, ridiculously expensive penthouse as well as sponsoring her business, which is pretty much a beauty salon or a nail salon. So Luke wanted to head over to Columbia to essentially discuss these things with Madeline and come clean to the fact that he's pretty much broke now. So uh, for a relationship that's essentially built on money for a sugar daddy, sugar baby situation that they have going on here, it's looking grim. It's looking grim. And my, and Madeline doesn't seem like the most patient young lady. I'm sure she knows that, uh, you know, she could easily find another man like Luke. <laughs> so uh, I'm sure that that's probably one of the first things that popped into her mind when Luke came out and said that he lost a job. So this is their second clip on today's episode, and we're about to dive right into it. Before we do, if you don't mind, if you could go ahead and just like today's video while it's on your mind. Subscribe to the channel. It really helps boost the algorithm. It only takes you two seconds, and it helps other people find this channel. And there's a few ways to support the channel. You can become a YouTube member. All these links are in every video description, by the way. You can also go to buymeacoffee.com slash Cody Trashfire to leave a little donation if you enjoy the content. And there's a new thing we've got. You can go to crowdmade.com slash collections slash Cody Trashfire to check out a number of t-shirts and a few hoodies that I've designed. Some have the channel logo. Some have... Colty on there. There's a few little surprises in there. And the awesome thing about Crowdmade is I can add new designs at any time. So at that's it, guys. That is it with the announcements. We're going to go ahead and jump right into this segment. <laughs> what is that? What? <laughs> what? Is that, is that what Madeline does when she's angry? All right. Hey, everybody expresses their emotions differently, okay? I don't have a job anymore, baby. <laughs> so I'm just concerned that if in three months' time we're not turning a profit, how are we going to keep paying all the bills? I don't know. The thing is, <laughs> I honestly feel bad for Madeline because this guy came in Mr. Moneybags here. He, he's trying to make it seem like he just had an endless income, and he wanted to live this fabulous, rich and fabulous lifestyle, and he dragged his child bride along for the ride. It's just dishonest. It's dishonest that he didn't let her know he lost his job. And honestly, just like a lot of these passport bros, the reason he did it is because he basically wants to have sex with her again. He wants to come to Columbia and tell her this in person, but I'm sure he has other reasons for that. Because if he told her in the U.S. that he had lost his job, she would have been like, okay, don't come to Columbia. <laughs> you know, I, don't, I think there's zero nobility in hiding this for a month. And then putting all this pressure on Madeline to be like, you know, well, this is a brand new business, but you need to you need to get out there and bring clients in, baby, because uh, <laughs> uh, I'm broke now. So, so you're broke. Like it's 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 not on her. It's on you, dude. Get a fucking job in, instead of ch uh, clout chasing on 90 day. He should have been back in L.A. 
getting another job and then none of this would have been an issue i am so mad because he don't told me he lost him job like one month ago and he's so frustrated he keep this from me yeah i mean i don't blame her i mean i'm i'm pretty much on her side to be honest she's not my favorite type of person in this world but i mean you know like i said the relationship was kind of founded on false pretenses so i understand her being upset I support you, I love you, but we really need to make some money because we don't have any more money coming in. That's not her responsibility, dude. You're the one that was Mr. Moneybag's breadwinner. So man up and figure it out. This is real. Obviously, I know this is real. It's bull. Look, job is the only money we have it coming in. And we need that money to pay the salon bills until we make a profit. I work really hard to make my beauty, and I so scared I could last it. I'm sorry to drop that on you. You know, I know it's a lot, but I know how much this business means to you, and we're gonna try and figure it out. She could lose the business easily because Usually with small businesses like this, it takes a couple of months and in bad cases, even sometimes a year or two of you, you know, continually pumping money in until it's stood up enough to not only break even, but make a profit. And I'm sure that there's a lot of competition. So yeah, this is just, it's, it's, it's not fair to put all this on her shoulders. This is the only successful, quote-unquote, business that this guy's invested in, by the way. He's gotten scammed by a bunch of other people, so... I feel very, very worried. But worried as I am, I know Luke probably don't tell me he lost his job because he was embarrassed. He liked a spoiler me and be the provider, and I love that about him. Yeah, he's not going to be spoiling you right now, though, sweetie. <laughs> Y'all are probably going to be eating ramen noodles here in about a week. How do we bust Why did he even... Like, okay, I know this is a show, so that's why he came. But, you know, why would you make this expensive trip when you're unemployed? That's like the worst thing you could do. Right. Kiss me, baby. I'm unemployed. Luke has to remember we are a team and I'm gonna work so hard. Okay. It will take time, but I know my beauty gonna to be successful because I am a very boss bitch. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I don't know, though. I mean, I know that beauty salons can make a lot of money, but usually they're bigger. They have more staff, they have a lot of clients, you know, so I don't think they're going to be able to support their lifestyle on this at all, at least not for a long time. So this is looking bad. This is looking real bad. Wait, 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 baby, let me go in first. <laughs> my boyfriend's still in there. You gotta, you gotta hold on a second, Luke. This is my, this is, this is my Colombian boyfriend, all right? Just hold on. Hold on, I'll tell him to get out. Wait here. Sketch. It's been four months since I've seen my girl. I haven't had sex in four months. This is exactly what I fucking said, isn't it? That's exactly why he came. I'm hoping whatever she's doing, it's something to do with sex. Madeline is the best lover I've ever had. I'd say our sex life is extremely adventurous. I don't want to hear about it, man. She's barely an adult. Just, I mean, you guys know I'm pretty lax about age gaps, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, it's legal, so whatever. Let him have it, I guess. It's just kind of ick. It just gives me the ick. I don't, I don't want to hear about it. I'm good. Knock, knock. 
We have sex in public places sometimes. What? We are at her high school? On the beach, we'll in public restrooms. We will we'll anywhere, really. Mamacita! Oh my god. Sex will look is amazing. Lynn is my first So how, wait, what? Oh, okay, gotcha. I, I know what she said, but let's just, let's just keep it between us. If you know what she said, you know what she said. I'm not gonna repeat it. Did you just say the first <laughs> So you peed all over him, congratulations. All right, well. That was Luke and his child bride, and, uh, <laughs> yep, yeah, she reacted, eh, kinda well, I guess, to the first part of him carelessly losing his job for no reason, except he's to blame. <laughs> and, uh, yep, yeah, and next up, he's gonna tell her that he has to go back to the U.S., so we'll see how she reacts, we'll see how she reacts, but... Yeah, I don't know. This couple's alright. I don't know. I don't know enough about them to make, like, a clear judgment call yet. Besides, they're both extremely materialistic and just vain and, you know, they're, they're gonna end up, in a couple of years, they're gonna be a fantastic plastic couple. You know, you, you know it's coming. You know it's coming, so... So anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I've got quite a bit of editing... Uh, in the queue here to take care of make sure to subscribe to the channel like the video both of those things help me get some more subscribers i think we're about to hit 2500 if we could hit 3000 this month that would just it would just make me so happy so if this content makes you happy please take the two seconds to subscribe to the video there's other ways to support the channel in the video description below that's it, guys. Comment something. Say hi to a friend. Say hi to me. Talk about the video, anything you want to do. And that is going to be it. That's it. The video is over. I will see you guys in the next one very shortly. Bye-bye.